Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Lesson A. And today's short video is about a 3D and spatial topic, building blocks. We're going to learn and answer some questions on this topic. But first, if you're new to my channel and if you're watching this video on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And also, if you enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I've got about 10 questions here and I'm gonna answer these questions and give you a valid explanation to why I've chosen these answers. Okay, question number one. All right, so for question number one, I'm basically gonna look at the shape first and I can already see that's a cube. So I'm gonna eliminate anything, any of the choices that doesn't have a cube in it. So I'm gonna eliminate D because it doesn't have a cube. Because now we have three choices left and they all have a cube in them. So we kind of have to use our common sense to get the answer now. So we got just have to put the shapes there and to see if it's right. I'm gonna start with B first. All right, this right, sh um, right angled L shaped thing. Um, let's say this is that. And then let's say this cube is that. It works, so it must be B. But just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that we are right, I'm, I'm going to check all the others as well. You know, because you don't want to lose marks in tests. So, um, okay. So if you look at C, some people might think it's C because they might think this cube point is this and they could add this cube here and then add this cube on here. So like this cube point is here. This cube is there, and this cube is here. But it can't be like that because, um, obviously, as we could see that this cuboid is much larger than this cuboid. So it can't be um, C. So we are going to eliminate those questions. Eliminate C, I mean. So, and also A. If we look at A, um, basically, we can see that A has a... Okay, let's say um, there's a cuboid here. Let's say this cuboid... Is this cuboid if it was to be a cuboid and then let's say they add this cuboid here and then they add the cube here but it wouldn't work because the shape would be longer and the cube would be more here than here more to the left to, than its original space so it can't be a as well okay question number two in question number two we can already see that this this one has a Sorry, um, this one has a cuboid in it and a cube and a much larger cuboid. So we're just going to basically just see one that has a cube, a medium sized cuboid and a larger cuboid. So we can already say that's a medium sized cuboid. Let's see a cube and larger cuboid. So it must be um, B. But just to make sure we are right, um, we are going to check the others. And by checking the others, we can already see that D doesn't have a cube. We can see that C doesn't have a medium-sized cuboid, and we can see that A doesn't have a cube. So it must be B. So B, the cube in B, is right here. The cuboid, the medium-sized cuboid, is right here. And the large-sized cuboid is down there. So, yeah. All right, question number three. Okay, so we can already see that um, there is a cube and another cube and a medium-sized cuboid. Alright, so I'm going to basically eliminate anything that doesn't have two cubes and one medium-sized cuboid. Okay, so I can see that um, C doesn't have a cuboid. I can already see that um, A doesn't have two cubes. So now we are left with B and D. Okay, so, so because we can't see what this shape is behind here, let's say we choose D. Let's say it's an L-shaped, um, L-shaped, uh, right-angled shape kind of thing. All right. Let's say this is that shape. If it's, if it is that shape, that's the, if it, okay. So the shape is right here. It's from D. So that L shape is right here, and then this cube is right here, and this other cube is right here, and also the cube is sticking here. So it must be D. Um, all right. If someone does think it's B, let's say this is that cuboid. And let's say that's a cuboid, if it was to be a cuboid. Um, so let's say that's a cuboid. And then let's say this other cuboid um, is on this side. And 
this cube is here and this cube is here. But if that is the case, we will be missing this part. There will be nothing on this part. And it will be kind of missing from the shape. So it can't be, it can't be B. So it must be D. Okay, so we're going on to question number four now. We can see that this shape has one cube. Oops, one cube and another cube. So it has two cubes minimum. Minimum two cubes. Okay. So yeah, since I have minimum two cubes, I'm just going to eliminate anything that doesn't have a minimum of two cubes. So I'm going to elim eliminate C. And I'm going to eliminate A. I'm left with B and D. But it can't be B because, let's say, some people might have thought that it's like a T-shaped um, shape, T kind of shape. And like, this is like the cube at the top. But like, if we, look, if we do look at B, and if we do say this T-shaped thing is right here, and that's a cube here, but what about this cube? So like we're missing a cube out, so we're not really allowed to do that, so it can't be B either, and it must be D, because if you look at D, let's say this cube is there, this cube is here, and this cube is right there, um, we can see that this cuboid here is, is like the end of it's probably the end of this cuboid right here. Or if you want to look at the other way around, the end of this cuboid here and then the cube is right there. I mean, it's your preference. You can look at it either way if you want. Um, so I'm just going to look at this way. Let's say this is the end of the cuboid here. Um, obviously, we can't see the, this part of the cuboid because it's obviously hidden by those um, cubes, obviously. But if we do use our common sense and look at it, let's say that's the cube. Let's say we add a cuboid here and then we add the cube in front of it. And then we add another cube on top of it. And then we add a cube to the left of it. That works. So it must be D. Alright, so question number five now. Um, in question number five, we can see there's two, actually no, three cube points. And we can see that two of them are the same size or similar size. And then we can see one of them is much larger than this two. So I'm just going to look for, I'm just going to basically eliminate anything that doesn't have any cubes in it, I mean any cuboids in it, if that's a cube or something like that I'm going to eliminate it so as soon as possible so I'm going to eliminate D because it doesn't have a um, another cuboid and I'm going to eliminate C same for same reasons alright so I'm left with A and B I'm going to eliminate A because if we see A all the cuboids are the same shape whereas if we see on this um, picture we can see that only two of them are the same or similar size, and we can see one of them is much larger than the other two, so it must be B, because that's one cube that's much larger than this two, and these both of these are pretty much the same size, so it's going to be B. Okay, question six. All right, so question six, um, we can see that there's a cuboid right here, so let's say, actually no, there's a cuboid right here, sorry. So that's a cuboid right here. So um, we're going to eliminate anything that doesn't have a cuboid. So by that, we're going to eliminate C and D. So we're left with A and B. But let's say we do choose B. Let's say. It doesn't have to be right, but let's say we, have, we do choose B. Um, let's say this cuboid goes right here, and this cuboid goes right here. But then there's like a line coming downwards, which suggests that like there's another shape down there. So if there is only two cube boards, that does mean that's a shape missing there, even though that's meant to be a shape. So it can't be B. It has to be A. Because um, uh, the L-shaped shape right here is kind of here. You understand what I mean? So the L-shaped, let's say the L-shaped is this one. And then let's, shape, let's say the cube board shape is right here. It, it seems pretty right to me. And since B and A were the ones that we were left after eliminating the with the cuboids, um, if we do use B, let's say again, I'm going to say that again because just to make sure you guys understand about it. Um, so B, um, so the cuboid here, one here, one here, that's a shape missing, so it can't be B, it has to be A, you know. And just to make sure A is right, I'll do it again. So I could so like if you do see the L shaped here. Some people might say that's the old shape, but it can't really be the old shape because 
can really see a clear defined line there that suggests that that's that's a different shape something right there is a different shape so it has to be um a and also the um l shape thing has to be quite like that and the obviously the sorry oops and also the cuboid has to be at the top okay next question question number seven okay so um i can already see that's a cuboid here um, so I'm going to eliminate anything that doesn't have a cuboid in it. I'm going to eliminate D. I'm going to eliminate A. Yeah, I will eliminate A actually. Yeah, I will. And then I will, I will eliminate C because the cuboid I saw is much larger than the. Well, the cuboid is much the cuboid here, right here, is much smaller than this cuboid right here. This cuboid is much larger than this one, so I'm eliminating C. So it must be B. And just to make sure B is right and just be on the safe side, let's say this L shaped thing is this shape and this shape comes down like that. This L shaped shape. So, like this bit of the shape is right here and this bit of the shape is up at the top. And let's say this cube border goes right here and this cube goes right there. So, it's B. Simple. Okay, next one. Question number eight. Um, like the other ones, we can already see as there's two cubes. I mean, cuboids, sorry. There's two cuboids right here. So we're going to eliminate that. Doesn't have anything that doesn't have two cuboids minimum. So I'm going to eliminate C and D. Okay. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that's that one right here. It's also a cuboid. But the cuboid right here is the same size as these, these two cuboids as well. But if we look at A, the the top cuboid right here is much larger than these two cuboids so it can't be a because they're all the similar size over here like this cuboid is a similar size this cuboid is a similar size this cuboid is a similar size so they're all the similar size but if you see here there's one much bigger and there's one like the same size so it can't be a so instead it's going to be b okay so we're nearly at the end now we've got question number nine okay so question number nine all right, so we can see there's one cube here. I mean, cuboid. Sorry, why am I saying this? Sorry, that's a cuboid here. It's a cuboid right here. So I'm guessing there's two cuboids minimum. So it has to be. Um, sorry, not it has to be. And we're going to eliminate basically. We're going to eliminate um, A because it doesn't have two cuboids. And we're going to eliminate D because it also doesn't have two cuboids. And we're left with B and C, but if we do use uh, B, that's like one cuboid is much larger than the other. But if we do see here, they're both the same size. Here, this one is much smaller than this one, so it can't be B. And then, and also we can't really see a cube anywhere in this diagram. Whereas there's a cube here, so it can't be one as well. Whereas it must be, we're left with C, and it must be C. Because, um, like always, if we do use the L-shaped shape, I mean L-shape um, here, let's say that's there, and then we can't see the end because this cube right here, cuboid, I meant this cuboid right here, is covering that end of this L-shape. So basically, this this side is basically covering this bit of the cube, this L-shaped kind of shape, and this bit is over here. So this bit is the bit here. This bit is the bit here, and this L shape is like there, but you can't see the bottom bit because these two these two cuboids are hiding them, so we can't see it. And finally, we're at the last question. Um, we're gonna finish this up now. All right. So, question number ten. Okay. So first, we're gonna look at. Um, all right. So first, we're gonna. Look at the shapes there is. So we can already see there's two L-shaped kind of shapes. So that's one L-shape here. There's one other L-shape here. Um, so I'm going to eliminate anything that doesn't have two L-shapes in it. So I'm going to eliminate. Sorry, I'm going to eliminate D. I'm going to eliminate C. And I'm going to eliminate H. So we're automatically left with B. And so if you do see, this L-shape here is that one there. This L-shape. Is that one here, and this cube is that one here. 
so we're finally at the end of the video guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you understand everything and i will see you guys in the next video